and welcome back. I have a very quick special retro review for you all. Now, if some of you remember from the 80s, the Micro Machines, which have actually made a comeback recently, there were these super tiny cars from Gloob. Well, Gloob had decided they wanted to get into the robot game, and they came out with something that was pretty bonkers. Now, most of these were pretty weird, uh, but there was a couple that I liked, and there was one I always, I always wanted. And what happened was, is I had part of this one. I had posted a picture on Instagram, and someone had commented, oh, he looks so sad. And I'm like, you know, it's because he's missing his family. And so I decided to actually hunt down the rest of them. And so what we have here, it was called Construct Don, which of course is a playoff of construction. And he is a weird construction vehicle. And what we have here, we have wheels. He rolls. We have a plow that can move up and down. And he has a tail that can move. And as well as a little pincher grappling thing. I mean, it's... It's a human centipede robot contraption, but it's still kind of neat looking. I like the colors. Um, I think the details are fine. It is kind of weird that they have the casting up here on the window, uh, under, except, you know, I prefer that to be underneath the vehicles, but it's it's fine to have the words up there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's this wonky looking vehicle thing, and I, I think it's neat. I think it's endearing. Um, some of them really got wild in their designs, but this one... I thought was neat and so like you saw the picture they actually come apart and they have a little peg system here so there's the first one and he's got he's got multiple sets of eyes he's got eyes on his shovel and then you raise him back and he's got articulated arms and this part doesn't move though it looks like it could um it's the little pincher looking thing but he's got this this vibe of robot and insect so we'll set him here and we pop that one off. It's got a little peg there. And then fold the legs down. And he's got some little arms. And they can kind of move up and down. And he can bend. And that's about it. I mean, very simple articulation. Very, very wonky looking. And then lastly, the last one, you just pop his head up. And he's got his wild arms here. And so, I mean, if you just keep them together, it looks like it's a shovel, but I, I like doing them a little bit separate. So it looks like he's a little bit more articulated. And he's probably my second favorite. So out of these three, this one, of course, is my favorite. Um, he's just this sad, cute little robot, and the rest are just very interesting designs. They're very bright and colorful and high contrast, and I just thought they were neat. Um, I had a couple other of these, but this is the one I always wanted, and I thought it was cool, and I thought I'd show you all. And just for comparison, they are quite a bit bigger than a micro machine, but I'm sure you could probably fit them into the play set. They probably uh, would scale better with the monster trucks, considering the way the, the wheels are. So anyway, let us know in the comments below if this is worthy of your collection. Also share memories of, you know, micro machines and Z-Bots. And like always, like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.